this has been my home for the last two days. And I wound up here kind of by mistake. But I just stayed because it's actually pretty nice here. So I'm just outside of Lake Havasu. And I wound up in this spot by mistake because I was looking for some free land to park and camp on for a few days. And I found a little spot and put a Google pin down and then hit to navigate to it. And I didn't pay attention, but Google was taking me way away from the spot that I had pinned on the map. And it seemed to be a little issue with Google back a couple months ago. And I haven't had it since, so I haven't been paying attention looking at where it's sending me. And I just happened to look and realize, hey, this is taking me to the wrong spot. So I pulled over and looked around, and I saw some people camping here, checked it with GPS, and figured, hey, it's, uh, it's public land, so I'm going to stay here for a day. And then that ended up being two, just because it's nice. I like opening up my door and not seeing a bunch of people, and I like that it's been not real windy, but it's been a little bit of a breeze, and that's been good because it's been pretty hot here. So there's a little bit of road noise here, but that's kind of off in the distance, and I don't really hear it quite so much. I especially don't hear it at night. Uh, as soon as I close up my doors, I... Uh, I found it to be pretty quiet up here, so that's that's pretty good, and I'm far enough away from everybody that I'm not hearing a bunch of loud neighbors around, so I've been pretty happy with this spot. Uh, the other thing is, it's really pretty up here at night when the sun starts to set. It's really nice, so I've been, been enjoying that. Now, I did intend to go back to that spot that I was originally heading to, but I just haven't really felt the need to leave here. Um, just it's been nice it's been quiet and I don't really like driving constantly and so if I find a spot that's even halfway decent I just assume take it for a little while and just you know sit and enjoy uh, it because what's the point in driving to another spot if you don't know what you're gonna find in that other spot but I think I am gonna move on here today because it's supposed to really heat up and that's the one little issue is it's starting to warm up a little bit. Yesterday was supposedly a high of 88, uh, but I didn't think it felt quite that hot. But then again, I didn't do a whole lot of moving around. I did take a little walk out into the desert. There's not a whole lot to see. It's all kind of the same old, same old. And with as warm as it was, I kind of retreated back to the van because it stays really nice and cool in my van here. So, uh, I just kind of stuck around the van, did computer stuff, and that was all I did, really. But I think I'm going to head out and go back into Lake Havasu uh, because the van does need an oil change, and I figure usually takes them a little while, so I figure um, it takes a while, and I'm sitting in an air-conditioned uh, <laughs> air conditioned waiting room, then this is probably the day to do that. Uh, the oil change needs to be done anyway. And being that this is a real hot day, uh, maybe that's the day just to sit and wait for stuff to get taken care of. Okay, well that didn't quite work out. Uh, they were quite busy and quite backed up. I think they were really short-handed, although they didn't say that, but looking around it looked like they were really short-handed. So, um, they would have changed the oil, but they said it was going to be several hours of waiting. So they kind of encouraged me just to make an appointment for next week. <laughs> and I said, well, I don't think I'm going to hang around here quite that long. So, uh, I think I'll just move along and get the oil changed at a different place. I wanted to get it done at a dealership because there are a couple of uh, safety recalls that I have that are outstanding. So, I always kind of like to take it to the dealer, at least until I get those safety recalls caught up on. 
Uh, but if they're too busy to change oil, they're definitely going to be too busy to do any of the extra work. So um, I actually really respect them for just being up front. I really like that. I've had a bunch of dealers that kind of are passive aggressive and then it ends up being an all day thing. And so I have no issue with just taking off here. I uh, respect this dealership, uh, but I also don't want to make an appointment for next week. So I will, let's see, since I'm in town, I do need to get water and uh, maybe I'll look at groceries. I don't know. Let's get water and then I'll decide. What I One downside to traveling is you don't really know where everything is. So I didn't really want to go into town to get water because I don't really need groceries necessarily. But being that I'm in the desert, I would like to fill up my water at every chance that I can get. Uh, so I just went kind of across the street to a gas station and expecting to find a water machine outside. They didn't have one. So I've come over to Walmart here. I don't really need groceries that much either, but just because it's so warm out, I was thinking maybe some hummus or guacamole would be a good thing to have. Just I haven't really had much of an appetite now that it's been warm. Well, I've come here to Walmart, but unfortunately the water machine here is busted. So not getting water here, but I did manage to I'm wasting water here the way I'm washing my hands. Um, I did manage to pick up a couple of things. Figured I should get some uh, paper towel while I'm here because it's probably the cheapest place to get it. And I bought myself some guacamole because I have not had an appetite with this heat. So I've not been eating very much. But I did buy some chips a few days ago when I stopped in at Smith's when I first got into town. So guacamole and chips would be lunch. I haven't eaten anything at all today yet. And probably the most important thing is I bought some oil for the van because the van does use quite a bit of oil uh, when I'm going up a heavy grade. So uh, probably good idea to keep a bit of that on hand. So um, not a wasted trip here to Walmart. You know, I don't shop in Walmart very often, so that was a little confusing for me. But I uh, got what I needed, except for the water, and it, the water's not super critical. It's just because I'm in the desert, I just like to be on top of that. But I think I might just check one more place, and then if they don't have it, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, it's starting to get hot here, and just now it's starting to get warm here, so... Uh, heating up so I think I want to get just out of town and see if I can uh, just find a little place to camp and hang out for a bit. Walmart parking lots. You just never really know what you're gonna see here. I was hearing some commotion behind me, heard a big huge bang, sound like a big kind of uh, explosion. I turned around and there was a truck that was on fire. I think they were using some st starting fluid to get the truck started. And I don't know what caught fire exactly, but they put the fire out and I was thinking, wow, what a terrible place to break down. And that's gonna be a awful thing, gonna cost them a fortune. And wouldn't you know it, they just drove away. They had a truck and a big, uh, maybe like a 30 foot travel trailer. I cannot believe after all that fire, after that big huge bang that they just drove by. <laughs> I'm happy for him though. Well, I couldn't find a place to buy water earlier, but I found a place that had free water, which is this rest stop right here. Uh, apparently they have an underground aquifer that supplies all the water here. Uh, the guy said really good quality water and uh, so I filled up my five gallon jug. Well I just pulled into the little town of Kingman and this is a cute little town. Um, I haven't really gone anywhere yet. I drove straight over to Safeway. I'm gonna see if I can just find a couple more things for 
uh, like cold food for me to eat. But before I even go in, I'm gonna get into this guacamole that I bought earlier today. And then we'll go in and see what they've got. But um, I wasn't going to come straight here. Well, I wasn't even gonna come into Kingman necessarily, but I had my eye on a little BLM spot just off the freeway, but um, when I got to it, it just didn't look quite right. There were like train tracks close by and stuff, and so I just kept going, and that's how I ended up here. So first, I'll take care of food stuff, and then I'll have to go find a spot to uh, park for the night. Well, I didn't find what I was looking for in there. I was kind of hoping to find some bread or tortillas that I could eat. Um, I have quite a number of ingredients that they put in food that I can't eat. I just can't. And so I looked for some bread and tortillas at Walmart earlier. They didn't have anything. And they had a couple loaves of bread here at Safeway, but they, uh, they were really expensive. Yeah, so I just decided to pass them up. I did find some Oatly, so I don't have a lot left, so I'm just gonna put what's left of this container into my little jar here. And then, well, that's funny, that just barely fit. I knew I was low on Oatly, I didn't realize I was that low on Oatly. So that was good. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't been making tortillas lately because it's just been hot and I don't want to warm up the van. I almost put the stove outside yesterday and started to make tortillas, but because it was hotter outside than it was in inside the van, I just didn't want to do that either. So I'm kind of thrown off a little bit. I've been relying on tortillas, my homemade tortillas quite a bit lately. And without those, I always feel like I'm going a little bit hungry. I think the solution would be to just force myself to get up really early in the morning and then make them before the heat starts to uh, happen. It's probably what I'm going to have to do. If I want the tortillas, I'm going to have to do something different. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go toss out my trash and then i got to find a place to park for the night before it gets dark. Well, this was a general area of where I wanted to head out, looking at the map. This looks like a really cool area, and it's got a great name. Uh, this is Slaughterhouse Canyon, so you know, really inviting. So I thought this would be a great place, but I can't seem to find an access road that I can get up to. So I need to get back in that direction, and there just isn't a decent road. There was supposed to be one that I'm seeing on the map right behind me, but I'm not seeing anything, so. Um, cool place, but I don't think I can get to it without a four-wheel drive. I do see a truck, a couple of people up on top of that hill back there, but um, either they got to it from another area, or obviously they've got four-wheel drive. They can probably go wherever they want. Hmm, oh well. Uh, you know, I can always just park back in town, like I usually do. Well, I did find a little access road, and the first 30 or 40 feet look a little sketchy. It's really soft, but then after that, it's a hard-packed road, just dirt road, and it winds up over that hill. If I had a different vehicle, you know, a little more clearance, I would try it, but... I think in light of my van and the tires on my van, I should probably find a different place. Well, a little persistence has paid off. I went back to the maps and looked for another spot. And this isn't exactly ideal, it's a uh, little camp basically so there's a bunch of people that are camped down here got people beside me but it's all right for one night and then i'll look for another spot 
but wow, it's beautiful up here. Well, I am happy that I didn't just revert to my old ways and park down in the city. It just took me a couple of minutes to go through the maps and find this spot. I didn't realize though when I was looking at the maps and GPS coordinates and all that this was a camp area kind of set up like this but uh, what a beautiful spot and everybody's telling me that um, everybody that I've talked to here is telling me that it's a really nice spot uh, as soon as the Sun starts to go down so we'll wait for that hopefully I don't fall asleep before that happens because with all this extra driving I've been doing lately I am tired <laughs> I uh, I think I've driven more the last week and a half than I have in the last three months altogether. So I'm, uh, I'm plum tuckered out. Well, it's much cooler up here in Kingman than it is down in Havasu, but it's still a little bit warm. So I have cracked out my little swamp cooler here. This is one of those things I always think about when somebody tells me to uh, go through everything that I have and throw out or get rid of anything I haven't used in three months or six months. And this is one of those things that I very rarely use. So I always think of first when somebody tells me that. Uh, but I'm, I'm not getting rid of this. Uh, even if I only use it a couple of days a year, it's absolutely worth it. So this is a swamp cooler or evaporative cooler, so it doesn't really work in most climates. But in this type of climate where it's a little bit warm but really dry, it does really well. Uh, so it's got this little reservoir that you put water in, in the, and then that pumps water over a little pad. And then it's got a little computer fan in back that blows air through that damp pad. So when I was growing up, we called them swamp coolers because that's kind of what they did. They just made the room that you were running them in swampy. But usually when I run this, I have my ceiling fan on or at least open. And like right now, I'm gonna leave the door open because it's really not that warm out. And so it works quite well uh, in that kind of situation. So let's just take a couple of minutes for that to get charged up and we'll see maybe it'll make things a little bit cooler and make it cool enough that I might want to make tortillas tonight. <laughs> I doubt it. I'm probably gonna have to get myself up early in the morning and make them but oh actually that's already that's already working well. Good. I got a couple little things to do and I really want to put my feet up and just take a little cat nap. So that's why I thought getting this out will uh, help with that. Well, now that the sun has gone down, it's getting cool out there. Uh, cool enough, I had to put a sweater on. It's the first time I've had to put any kind of sweater on in several days. I'm not complaining. Well, being that I haven't eaten much all day, it's probably time to make a good dinner. Well, good. I don't know. Dinner, anyway. I've got some ground beef I pulled out of my freezer. Put it in the fridge to thaw, and it's, uh, well, mostly thawed. So I think I'll make that work somehow. And then I'm going to use some of these instant mashed potatoes. I keep these around for just uh, quick stuff, especially when I'm lazy, like tonight. And some peas. Those I pulled out of the freezer about an hour ago, so they should be thawed up. And then I'm going to add some of this brown gravy mix to it all. So simple, but easy and quick. Okay, dinner is ready. And this is not gourmet food, but of course, this is a van, so um, this is 
gourmet van food, I guess. Uh, I did sample it. It's tasty. I am going to elevate this experience a little bit better because I am going to eat this with my spork. So that will automatically make this a gourmet meal since I have the spork. And before I get to dinner, I just wanted to say that um, before I headed up here, my initial feeling was I was just going to head back to California and head back to cooler temperatures and kind of go a little places that I kind of know a little bit first uh, instead of just venturing out to new unknown places to me. I've never been to Kingman here, so this is all new to me. So I'm kind of feeling it out and uh, have to say, I think it was a good decision. Uh, not only is gas a buck fifty cheaper this way going east, but it's also cooler and it's also just really beautiful here. There's a whole lot to like about Arizona, so I'm kind of liking this little venture. Uh, I wouldn't have thought I was coming here a week ago or maybe even five days ago, but here I am and I'm really liking it. So uh, there you go. Got to do new things once in a while. Push yourself out of your comfort zone to get to experience some new stuff and I am definitely in that out of my comfort zone and enjoying it all along the way. So hey, uh, thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it.